Welcome to my kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome to my cooking show. Okay. <laughs> this is not a cooking show. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lucy and this channel is all about expert career, expert life and tech jobs and all about career channel. However, sometimes I like to mix it up. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook Korean food while talking about some of the things that you guys have been asking me a lot, which is all about job searching, what should I do to get a job in a different country, etc. So we're still gonna talk about job searching, all about career, but while cooking. So <laughs> let's do this. So what we are gonna cook today is Korean spicy rice cake called dakbokgi. And actually, one of our friends on this YouTube community, he suggested this great idea of making tteokbokki, which I really, really like as well. So thank you for sharing a great idea. And also while making tteokbokki, I am gonna talk about some things around job searching tips because recently a lot of you have reached out to me either on LinkedIn and Instagram and asked me, some questions and most of the questions are really relevant to job searching tips and job interview tips so why not me making this video so that I can help more people if you have similar questions like this and also I really really enjoy talking to you guys so if you have any like questions um, or if you just want to say hi definitely feel free to do so either on LinkedIn or Instagram so yeah, feel free to do so. And for those of you who have reached out to me already, thank you so much. And thanks for inspiring me to create this video. So thank you. <laughs> okay, let's start. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna introduce you with some ingredients for today's recipe. So I like to cook something very simple and easy to make. So this is really, really, really simple. Like really. So we need spring onion, uh, rice cake, and we also have gochugaru, it's like a Korean spicy red pepper powder. And we have this rice syrup, I'm gonna use this instead of sugar, but you can definitely use sugar as well. Or if you, you can use both, you can use sugar and uh, this syrup as well, up to you. And soy sauce, I'm using this soy sauce, but any soy sauce will work. And oh, last but not least, kimchi dumpling. Um, if you feel like you have been applying for many, many jobs, but you haven't really heard from employers yet, my best advice for you guys is these two things. You need focus and strategy, okay? Okay, what I mean by focus and strategy is we tend to, I did it as well. When we were looking for jobs, we tend to just apply for so many different types of jobs. Like let's say I am looking for a job in tech industry as a sales rep. At first, I will apply for a sales job in a tech, tech company, but let's say if I don't really hear from any employers, I would expand my options. Like, okay, let me apply for a sales operation job or let me apply for uh, a job in a different industry, etc. right? It's very normal because we are worried, oh my gosh, like nobody's really wanna hire me, let me expand my options, right? But actually, I don't really think this is a great idea in my opinion because the more you niche down, the more you focus on the job or the industry that you're really, really great at or you're really, really expert at, you're gonna have so much higher chance to hear from your future employers, okay? So my advice here is you either choose one specific job title or job category or choose one specific industry that you wanna work for. So for example, let's say if you're looking for a marketing job, what you're gonna do is, okay, I'm just gonna apply for a marketing job. And, and also in mar under marketing umbrella, there are so many different marketing related jobs as well. There could be social media manager, there could be SEO specialist, or there could be communications uh, specialist, 
let's say your previous work experiences has been like communications and marketing department, then apply for that specific role. And also let's say you have different types of work experiences, like you have sales experience, marketing experience, HR experience. So let's say you only work in tech industry or you work in the finance industry, then uh, choose one industry like, okay, I am an expert in the finance industry, although I have work experiences in different departments. However, I know how it works in finance uh, industry, right? Then, okay, I am just gonna apply for jobs in the finance industry, okay? So my point here is that choose one specific industry or one specific job category that you really, really can shine. Why? Why does this work? Because when you do this, everything that you are going to write and update on your LinkedIn or resume will be related to the job you're that you're targeting to. All the keywords and how you are gonna show and share your key achievements will be re related to the job that you're targeting to. So when you do that, what's gonna happen is when the recruiters or your future employers look at your LinkedIn profile or look at your resume, they will be like, oh, okay, this is exactly who we are looking for. Wow, he is the expert. Wow, she is the expert, right? So you are gonna hear from them. Like they wanna get to know you, right? Resume and LinkedIn profile, when you're applying for a job, you need to make them to be curious about you. So that way, when they feel in their way, what they're gonna do is they are gonna email you and they're gonna message you to book a phone interview with you, right? So that is the first step, right? So if you feel like, oh my gosh, like Lucy, I have been applying for so many jobs, but I mean, no single employer has responded to my application. Or let's say, hey, I'm looking for a job, I'm hearing from just one or two, but you know, it's just going nowhere, stuff like that. So if you are experiencing this, definitely focus and strategize, okay? and knowing your target companies, knowing your target job categories, job titles, and knowing your target industry will definitely help you find your job really so much faster, okay? So try it out, okay? So if you have not tried yet, definitely try it out, okay? And there are so many other things that I can guide you and share with you guys and teach you guys on. So if you really wanna get a job, really soon or if you want to increase your salary by changing your industry or your job then i can definitely help you i'm confident on that so feel free to reach out to me as well to ask me about further questions because i do teach my students on one-on-one -on -one as well i can really teach you how you can get your dream job and dream career okay so that's it for today guys hopefully my topoki recipe was good and uh, today's content was useful for you guys and if you really if you enjoyed my cooking show <laughs> definitely give me some likes as well and if you have other you know korean food or recipes that you're interested in knowing more about let me know as well uh, i am not the best cook but i enjoy cooking especially i'm korean i am happy to share some korean recipes so let me know thank you for watching this video and enjoy your weekend bye